Hello friends, this is Nageshwar. Welcome to my channel ITBird143. In my previous tutorial, I have shown how to install Active Directory domain services and after that, how to install users and groups. Now, in this tutorial, I will show how to install DHCP server. Okay, for that, just we need to open Server Manager. In Server Manager, Please click on add roles. After that, uh, just uh, before the uh, startup installation, just uh, we need to find out that our administrator account has a strong password and network settings such as static IP address are configured and latest security updates from the Windows Updata install. Okay, after setting all these things, just click on next. Now, here we need to select DHCP server. Okay, after that, just click on next. Uh, just introduction to DHCP server. Normally, DHC, uh, DHCP uh, server allows servers to assign or lease IP address to computers and other devices that are enabled as DHCP clients. Okay, and after that, just click on next. Uh, just it is showing my server ip okay just click on next now it is showing the parent domain and uh, preferred dns server ip for address just uh, validate that yeah it is a valid one but uh, i will remove this and i want to give my server ip address for the dns Okay, I think I will check it once. Okay. Yeah. Okay, 215. Just validate that. Okay, it's a valid one. After that, just click on next. Uh, here, WNS is not required for the application on this network. Uh, WNS is required for the application on this network, but no need this one. Just I'm selecting WNS I is not required for the application on this network. Okay, just click on next. Uh, now it is asking for the scope DHCP scope. So just click on add. Uh, normally scope is the range of possible IP address for a network. Okay, let's create that. Just click on add. And here uh, local scope. Uh, you can give any name to here. Okay, and starting IP address zero to okay. And after that zero we have to give range of IP address and subnet type uh, wide or wireless. Uh, I'm choosing wide okay and subnet mask 25500 okay no problem and default gateway uh, here i'm giving my uh, router ip that is given by my virtual box uh, sorry let's again check it ip config yeah it's a default gateway okay just i'm assigning that only and after that just click on ok uh, next and here it is showing enable dhcp v6 or disable dhcp v6 ok i am here disabling dhcp v6 no need for this ok and click on next uh, use current credential and use alternate credential but uh, here better to take use current credential only local administrator okay just click on next just it is showing the information okay our dhcp network uh, ipv4 local net okay dns server okay vns is none okay yeah after that just click on install Now it is installing DHCP server.
okay dlcp server installation is succeeded uh, okay just ignore this message just click on close yes now dhcp server is installed successfully okay after this just close this and come to start uh, come to administrate tools here our dhcp installed is there so just click on that okay and now okay just click on this and come to ipv4 and here is our scope local scope we created there and just click on here and here just address pool uh, this is the range we created in local scope and address leases okay and like this uh, we can install our dhcp server uh, i hope this video will help you in creating a dhcp server in windows server 2008 r2 version so uh, thank you viewers uh, if you like this video please click on like button and please share this video with your friends and please visit my channel IT board 143 to watch more latest uploaded videos and please don't forget to subscribe my channel IT board 143 and thank you friends have a nice day